Alright, hey guys, Red Eye of Anything back with more Minecraft, and last time we made it into, uh, Sand Village, I don't remember the name, and came to the realization that there doesn't seem to be anybody here. So we're just gonna continue off from here and see if I lose my way. Again. But as I promised last episode, this episode will be filled with looting and pillaging. Despite running into a cacti. Interesting. But yes, I'm going to be looting all the houses just in case there's something good, like torches. Arrows. Uh, I need another torch. And some mushroom stew. What could be the cause? Where could they have gone? Nobody knows. That was the house I came in. This city is empty. I am alone. More armor. Not, not gonna bother taking the, taking the arrows. Let's see. Iron chain. If I find another main chest area, I might drop off a bunch of stuff just in case I die, so I don't have to come all the way back. Woodland residence. I had a, one of these in the other village, on the other village too. Diary entry by Warrington, Scracy Woodland, written one month ago. I have been trapped in this miserable dead place for nearly 17 years, yearning to return to Woodland. Unfortunately, it looks that will never come to pass. Our funds have finally dwindled to nothing, and my father has become ill because of it. I truly fear that he will pass on soon, and that I will become a lonely beggar. Wait a minute. A familiar face has come to mind. Our caretaker that we left back in Woodland. Hanging on to that hope I might be able to return there one day. I have ensured that his salary has always been paid in full. Perhaps he can help. I shall write him a letter immediately. Save me, Jonathan. And note 27. Diary entry by Father Samuel Woodland, written two weeks ago. The Woodland family is suffering through a devastating economic decline. We will soon lose this house and will be thrown out onto the streets. To make matters worse, my health is failing me and medicine is much too pricey. What are we to do? For now, I can only hope that my daughter receives a reply from our Woodland estate caretaker. Please, Mr. Drake, if you do not respond or decide to decline our plea, this family is done. Oh, well, those are some dire straits. But one thing I'm realizing is a lot of these notes are staying really close together. Like, or a lot of the times, like that one was two weeks, a month, which kind of makes me think that we're getting closer and closer to, I guess, our father. <clears throat> Do 
close the hole. Okay. Have I pillaged all the houses? I think I have. But I don't know what that building is. Looks like some sort of castle keep, possibly. Can I get in there? Uh oh. Oh no, that's the theater. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, I hope he's not following me. I didn't look at you. I swear I didn't. Run away! I hate Enderman. <laughs> he's going to pop up behind me and I'm going to turn around and look directly at him and he's going to kill me. At least that's how I see things panning out. How do I get in here? Uh, what the? Okay, whatever. Let's check this out first. Deep Well Depository. Service Tunnel. This is a secure facility. Stealing is a crime punishable by death. Oh, well, that's the jail, I guess. Sandstone Station. Okay, that's where we are. We're at Sandstone right now. I need to eat some food. Some poke chop. Mm, guess this big building is where I need to go. Ominous sound. It's all fine. Oh, wow. I want a pickaxe. I need a pickaxe. So let's explore downstairs first. Bronze sweet one. Oh, is this the hotel? I think this is the hotel. Yeah, I'm guessing this is... Yeah. Hmm. So I remember last episode I was supposed... My father had a reservation in one of these rooms. Probably upstairs. Let's see. Library! Service time. Yeah, we're not going down there yet. Must find loot. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Records. Which one's the best one? Put on. Oh no. Yeah, uh, we'll just listen to this one. I don't know if I'll be able to hear it through the whole thing. But Oh my god, I just went around a circle. I'm smart. Scor Scorpion Lounge. Nice. And we can hear it through the whole building. Yeah! Wait. Blue? There's supposed to be information on those, I thought. Just in case, I probably need them. Mama 
missions. Diary entry by Warrens, written eight days ago. Finally, my newly acquired diamonds and a few sticks I brought. With my newly acquired diamonds and a few sticks I brought along, I have been able to forge a device powerful enough to destroy the Paragate. Now all I must do is locate a secure entrance into Sandstone Castle, where the gate is located. Once that is completed, I can travel back home and retrieve my beautiful child, who will step through the gate and experience a world of perfection and harmony. A world where no other man exists. But let's not plan too far ahead. Anything could happen. The smallest, most insignificant object could become a threat to my plans. So let's just ensure that these objects are silently crushed before they even have a chance to act. Note 23. Diary, war Diary entry by Warians written eight days ago. When I entered Sandstone today, I noticed a large abandoned theater located across from the railway station. After questioning a maid, I found resetting my bed resetting my bed sheets. I learned that the theater closed due to the ceiling caving in during one of their regular nightly shows. I asked why the owner simply did not pass the ceiling. She laughed and stated that such a task would be much too costly for the theater, for the theater was located below ground. Apparently the showroom is filled to the brim with rubble. I'm curious and ready to explore the theater in hopes of finding a cavern or tunnel leading into Sandstone Castle, I asked the maid who currently owned the complex. She stated that the owners could not find a buyer for such a wrecked place so they sold it to the bank for practically nothing. I was only able to mumble a few words of anger as the maid left the room. All of the banks across this land are owned by the Supremacy, so they are the ones who are holding the keys to the theater. Good thing as an honorable employee of the Supremacy, I know exactly where to go. The outpost of Little Fort, located on the prairie edge, acts as the armory and vault for Supremacy and their banks. So if I can find some way in, I might have a chance of locating the key. But then again, Little Fort is heavily guarded. I am not sure what to do. Use the three ladder sections to get over the theater walls after you venture to Little Fort. Okay. Did I miss anything? An apple? Uh, yeah, I'll leave it. I already read that. Nothing up here? No. Oh, it's getting dark. Ow. Let's just check the rest of these rooms. There might be some treasure. Hoping there will be some treasure. Nope, no treasure. Dang it. And I'm saying no treasure, and look at all this gold. It's probably fake. They painted it yellow. Did I search everywhere down here? I think I did. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> there we go. Daytime. Let's go. Ow, break our legs again. God dang it. Oh, really? Really? I slept so I could avoid you. Die, 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 die. Shrek. <laughs> I go back inside after seeing him just so I can sleep. Come out in the morning and he's just jumping around in the water. Thank you, thank you, yes. That's exactly what needed to happen. Wait, where am I? Where am I going? I needed to go to Little Fort, but this looks like I'm heading back into town.
No? Farlington residence. Okay, maybe I didn't investigate and pillage all of the town. I'm just going to throw this. And throw that. And throw that. And throw those. And throw that. There we go. Time to pillage some more houses. Overland residence. Better be some treasure. What? There's no treasure. Dang. Get out the door. So I need to venture to Little Fort first. Then backtrack to here. Treasure. Oh, treasure. Yes. What's the next one? Iron leggings. Why? Why would the designer of this map give me small little pieces of food? Why can't you just give me like a stack of melon? Okay. Out the door and around, I guess. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go, so I'm just going to head. What's this? Sandstone castle ahead. I can't get in there, though. Okay, what's this? Weapons are prohibited. Little fort ahead. Yes! I'm not a complete screw-up. Yeah! By the way, all this was totally planned. I knew where I was going the entire time. Uh-oh. Well. Find a way inside and then search for another key. Facility closed. Really? Let me in! Shoot. Okay, read note 24. Bloody and charred diary entry by Warren. It's written seven days ago. Who knew that it would come to this? Who knew that so many would be slain by my hand? Who knew that things would work out so perfectly? Yesterday I set up an account at the Deep Well Depository and managed to sneak into what was not mine in a desperate attempt to find a key. After a quick glance through many of the deposit boxes, I found something that I had certainly not set out to discover. A staggering amount of black powder. I snatched it all up and stuffed each bag of it into my satchel. I then scurried back to my hotel room and started producing block after block of TNT. After I had used up every bag of black powder, I set out for Little Fort. I attacked in the night. I rushed through the front gate and up the stairs, lighting and dropping the TNT as I went. Violent explosions rocked the fortress as I made my way up the empty staircases. I could hear frantic screams from everyone to take their posts. I assumed that they believed this attack was coming from the outside, for when the first soldier met me on the stairs, he did not even stop to acknowledge my presence. So I continued forward, hiding the dynamite under my belt. Each man I passed took me as a fellow soldier, which enabled me to easily make it up to the highest towers where objects of value are kept. I quickly searched each chest in each tower until I finally came across what I had come for, the key to Sandstone Theater. The frightened voices around me had begun to calm and confusion was beginning to settle over the fortress. I knew that if I were able to successfully escape that I must create another distraction, so I lit a few more bundles of TNT and tossed them about the complex. Death came instantly. Some were blown off bridges and towers while others leaped in panic. I felt no pity for these men, only disgust. Disgust over the fact that this was the army of the supremacy. It was truly a pathetic sight. I leaped into the river and floated away without a thought in my mind. Wow! Ha uh ha. -huh.
So... Do I, do I go this way? Huh, I guess so. So, daddy's a little bit cuckoo. That's... that's nice. Button! Yeah! This... Oh no, this is gonna take me all the way back to... the theater. So this... never mind. This is good. Uh, let's enjoy the ride. I need, like, elevator music. Or something. There's the depository, which I'm guessing I'll get to go in later and find large amounts of treasure. Hopefully. <clears throat> There's the theater right there. Let me out. I'm on a mission. Now, is there a designated area to get in? Or do I just literally use the ladders anywhere I can and climb in? I'm gonna put them here. Oh! Oh, that's hilarious. I knew it. There is a place that I probably should have... Yeah. Dang it. Okay, well, since I'm confused, this seems like a good place to stop. And when we come back, hopefully, I'll have figured out how to get in here, or where I get the lever from to get into here. But till then, red eye out.